Hello everybody, now we will present about wheat beer. Now let us introduce ourselves. My name is Yorhia Junika. My name is Erena Maria Santoso. My name is Astrid. So let's get started. First of all, what is wheat beer? Wheat beer is one of kind beer which is brewed with a large proportion of wheat compared with the amount of malted barley. Usually barley is the most typically used grain, but in production with beer, some brewers start to substitute wheat for a portion of the barley. At least 50% of the grain is wheat. And also, wheat beer has more unique aromatic compound compared with other beer. So this is the analytical data of wheat beer from several brands. So the benefit of drinking wheat beer is since wheat beer is made from a particular yeast strain, it can be strain 3068 or weighted yeast that contain enough amount of polyphenol to make them beneficial to endurance athletes. Polyphenols are the aromatic compound in the plants that are normally credited with a cancer preventing properties, antiviral properties, and regulate the immune system. Beer consists of four main ingredients. First, water. Second, starch source, such as melted wheat or barley, that able to sacrifice or convert it into sugars, and then fermented or converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide. Brewer yeast, the microorganism that is responsible for fermentation in beer. Yeast metabolizes the sugar extracted from grains, which produce alcohol and carbon dioxide, and therapy turns wort into beer. In addition to fermenting the beer, yeast influence the character and flavor. Plus, the flavoring, such as hops, which contributes a bitterness that balances the sweetness of the malt. Next, this is the process. Production process. The link of the video will be dropped at the description box. Next. First, we have to preparing the mess. The malt is crushed using iron rollers and transferred to the mess tank or tun. This tank is large copper or stainless steel vessel that mix the malt with warm water until it is porridge-like consistency. This mixture is called mass. After mixing with similarly prepared cereal grains, the temperature of the mass is raised incrementally from 100 to 170 Fahrenheit so that the enzyme reacts. The enzymes break down the starch in the grain and convert it to simple sugars. Later, the yeast will convert the sugars into alcohol. Once complete, the mass is allowed to sit undisturbed so the solid can descend to the bottom of the tank. And then, brewing the wort, the liquid contained in the mass is transferred into another tank called a louder tun. This is accomplished by drawing the liquid out through the bottom layer of mass solids, which acts as a filter. Hot water is added to the top of the mass tank to rinse the remaining liquid, or called wort, from the mass. The solid remains of the grain and are dried and sold by the brewer as animal feed. The wort travels on the brew kettles, where it's boiled to sterilize it, and where the carefully prepared hops are added. The addition of the hops is important because they contribute to the bitterness of the beer. The beer kettles are the most impressive equipment in this process, gleaming copper, they can be 7 to 12 feet in diameter and 2 stories high. Steam usually provides the heating energy to the brew kettles. After brewing is complete, the finished wort is filtered again and pumped into the fermentation tanks. Next. This is the picture of the steps preparing the mess and brewing the wort. Next. The third is fermenting. In the ferment fermentation tanks, the atmosphere must be carefully controlled to prevent any roach bacteria 
from interfering with the yeast. Carefully maintained yeast is added to the wort and the temperature of the mixer is slowly reduced over a period of days to between 15 until 60 Fahrenheit. In this temperature range, the yeast grows, consuming the sugar in the wort and bubbles of carbon dioxide form. The wort has now become beer. The new beer is filtered and transferred once more into the aging eggs, where the temperature is controlled at 33 Fahrenheit for 2 until 24 weeks. The shorter storage time times produce a pale ledger beer while the European ledger is called Pilsner. Then pasteurizing. After aging, the beer can be pasteurized to kill the remaining yeast and prevent further alcohol production. This is accomplished by heating the beer above 135 Fahrenheit. This process named after Louis Pasteur is widely known for preserving milk. Uh, many consider the draft beer best in aroma as well as taste. Next, the packaging. Whether packaged into cans, bottles, or kegs, the beer is always moved gently through the maze of piping in the bottling area. This is to preserve the natural carbonation. During bottling, additional carbon dioxide gas from the fermentation kettles is used to improve the aroma of the beer. High-speed packaging lines can process thousands of cases of beer per day and with modern computerized control, the inventory can be tracked throughout the distribution network. Most beer is delivered from local, local distributors who have purchasing contracts with the major breweries. Next, this is the process. Uh, the next one is quality control of wheat beer. Quality control is a system that maintains a desired level of quality through feedback on product or service characteristic and implementation of remedial action. In case of deviation of such characteristic from special standard, in this case, quality control of wheat beer. The first one is malting process quality control. There are color and other odor, moisture and water sensitivity, foreign seeds and material, nitrogen and con protein contain, flow rate of water and air, germination capacity and energy, barley type and variety, barley and malt kernel size, time, kernel moisture, temperature, color, color of malt, Protein, protein starch and enzyme level and the last one is sensory evaluation and for brewing process qual quality control we have to watch out for time temperature pH pressure gravity of wort and beer sensory evaluation level sensor Air injection into wort, yeast, dissolved oxygen, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, bacteria count, turbidity, color, foam collapse, standard operating procedure, procedure, and sanitation. And this is the reference we use for this presentation. That's all for our presentation. Thank you for watching.